Mr. President, uh, I rise in support of the Rebuild America Jobs Act because it responds to two critical needs, the jobs crisis that uh, we face throughout this country and the need to improve our national infrastructure, which is obvious to everyone in every part of this country. For Rhode Islanders, passing this jobs bill would translate to 100, approximately $141 million of highway funding to help us respond to these obvious needs. Moreover, it would provide approximately $21 million in transit funding, which would provide a real shot in the arm to help maintain an efficient public transportation system. We take pride in Rhode Island. We have a statewide transportation system. It's oriented around our, our bus system. It travels the length and breadth of the state. It, uh, it is very efficient, but it needs support. And this bill would help provide the support. The bill would also improve airports, uh, particularly our major airport, TF Green, with a safety uh, facilities and an expansion of a runway. It would make air travel not only safer, but it would make our airport more capable of intercontinental and international service. And right now, we don't have that effective option. If we did, that would be a huge multiplier to our economy. And it's based on sound infrastructure improvements. These are not new, novel techniques, new, advanced technology. This is old-fashioned, extending a runway, fixing a bridge, getting the economy moving again. Everyone understands that. Everyone on you know, Main Street and East Street and South Street and West Street and every corner of this country understands that. And we've always done it, and this bill will help us do it. Now, finally, the bill establishes a national infrastructure bank, which I believe can play a, a critical role in financing these projects going forward. And these projects would include clean water projects, energy projects, as well as transportation projects. And there's absolutely no doubt that these investments in infrastructure will benefit our economy. According to the economist Mark Zandi, every dollar invested in these types of projects will generate approximately $1.59 in economic activity. There's a significant multiplier effect here. And it's part, I think, of importantly getting us moving again, building up self-sustaining momentum. Again, these projects will go and employ private companies that will hire individuals in all of our home states to begin the work that must be done to improve our infrastructure, to provide the kind of vital transportation links that are critical to any economy. And it's also very important to note that this proposal is fully paid for. And you have both business and labor supporting these investments in the bill. And I would hope we could all join together in a sign not of common, just common unity, but common sense and adopt this provision. Build infrastructure, it's paid for, it puts people to work. That's what the American public is asking us to do, and we should do it.